Hi my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally and this video course is how to speak English fluently in 10 days. Okay, thank you very much for your support. I really hope that you like this video, okay? So, are you ready to start? I hope so. You know, I want to improve my speaking skills urgently. So, I want to improve means I want to make them better. So, I want to speak better. And urgently means uh, as soon as possible. So, I need to do it now. And uh, I can't learn English for years. It means uh, for a very long time. So, for three years, for five years, it's too long to have a basic level in speaking. So, to have means if I want to have a basic level in speaking. So, the first level, when the second level, so not such a high level in speaking. Firstly, yeah, the first thing, as you might guess, as you might guess means so, as you might know, or as you know, I don't have so much time. Secondly, yeah, very nice phrases, okay? Secondly, I need an advanced level. Advanced level means the highest level in speaking. So, I want to speak English really well. I'll never be satisfied with a basic level. So, be satisfied means I will never be happy. I will never be happy about a basic level. So, that's not for me, okay? Well, how much time do you have not much at all. So, really not much, really not much. Can you say it more exactly? Can you say it more exactly? So, just uh, can you give me some details? So, really, can you tell me how much time you have? Okay, just a little less than a couple of weeks. Couple of means, couple of weeks means two weeks. Couple of means two weeks. A little less than, yeah, two weeks or then 14 days. I think you know how to speak English fluently in 10 days, okay? And you can really give me a hand, a nice phrase, give me a hand means you can really help me. Right, I can help. I don't want to guarantee, so I don't want to guarantee that you'll be an advanced English speaker. So, guarantee, it means that I don't want to tell you that you'll definitely, that you'll definitely uh, do it so that it's true for 100%. No. So, it means that not maybe an advanced English speaker, but close to it, yeah, close to this level, but not maybe an advanced level, yeah. As I need, as means because, as I need to know much about your current level. So, current level, so the level which you have now. But I do feel, do means really, I do feel means, but I really feel it's possible. So, it's possible, yeah, you can do it to reach some fluency in English within 10 days. To reach some fluency, to become fluent in English, yeah? Within 10 days or in uh, 10 days during this period of time. Okay, that suits me. It means that's okay, that's all right, that suits me, it's okay. It's suitable, it's suitable for me. I want to know more about it. Okay, there are some extremely useful tips that you need to know. So, extremely useful tips means very, very useful tips which you need to know. What are they? Don't think that learning English one hour a day will help you enormously or will help you greatly. It means that if you think that you learn yeah, one hour English one hour a day and it will be enough for you, no. So, this thought or this idea is very naive, naive. So, in fact, it isn't so, yeah? And it has no foundation. It has no foundation means, um, actually, there is no reason. There is no reason 
for think for thinking this way no reason okay if someone thinks you can learn English fast while learning English it means while or when uh, you learn English yeah uh, when you learn English yeah when you learn English only yeah only okay only one hour a day it verges on the ridiculous yeah it's a nice phrase so you can say it verges on the ridiculous or it borders it borders it borders on the ridiculous it means that it's ridiculous it's absurd so it's very naive it's not true so it's impossible and in particular in particular mean, means in your case in your situation it's totally unacceptable totally unacceptable it means that you can't accept it so no way no way uh, I mean no way is it good for you so it isn't good for you at all yeah since since means because you have such a time limit time limit it means that you have such a time limit so I remember that you need just uh, you have just two days yeah so we're talking about it okay good what do you mean so what do you want to say what do you mean okay I mean that you need to learn English much more than one hour a day so one hour a day isn't enough how much I'm not a magician I'm not a magician okay and I just want to be as realistic as possible okay so I really want to be realistic okay so if you have only 10 days all day so you need all day is it really possible why not why not don't learn English only in the classroom if you do it I mean if you learn English only in the classroom you always fall behind fall behind means you always I mean uh, show worse results so your results won't be so good worse results than your classmates yeah results so you fall behind so not enough progress so your progress won't be so good and your results will be below average below average so average middle so below average so less or worse than middle okay so so not you won't be a top student not an average student so yeah so maybe you will be oh, one of the worst students not so good okay so the most important point is that or the most important thing is that you need to think in English during the day you need to start with translating separate words separate words means some words okay phrases some phrases and simple sentences yeah you need to start with it really it's a crucial point it's a crucial point it means the most important point so you really you need to pay attention to it okay it's a crucial point will it give me fluency a great deal of fluency it means lots of fluency yeah you'll have another level of fluency you know I'll be straightforward I'll be straightforward or I'll be direct so I'll tell you what I really think most students fail so it means that they don't succeed they don't have a good result because they use traditional and ineffective methods which can only lead to slow progress so ineffective methods which which aren't good enough which can only lead to slow progress so as a result you have you only have slow progress you only make slow progress can you give me more details right as a rule students have just one book and they study it with a teacher who checks their progress it's so slow you depend on yeah you depend on your teacher and other students too much really it's a problem you depend on it too much so we used to uh, to express our negative feelings to, our, to express our negative attitude okay so it has also become a very profitable business business 
it means that profitable business which brings lots of money yeah, yeah good profit when it's said it said yeah it's passive voice when people say um, when when it's said everywhere that only this method is the best one or only this method is the best method I mean learning in the classroom I totally disagree with it okay a nice phrase so you can say I don't agree with it I disagree yeah but if you want to emphasize yeah your idea you can say I totally it's it sounds even stronger I totally disagree with it yeah so I don't agree with it at all people often make money on education and on students make money on education students here yeah they say that only learning English in the classroom with a teacher can bring the results you need so can bring or can give you the results you need or you want or you need to buy a special course yeah you need to buy a special course which has a miraculous effect miraculous which is full of miracles so you need just to, to buy for a course so it's no matter no matter I mean it is online or offline yeah and uh, you have this miraculous effect okay isn't it right isn't it right not at all you'll make some progress but it isn't very convenient for a teacher or it isn't very comfortable conven convenient it isn't a good thing for a teacher to tell you that you can use these or those materials so these or those materials yeah so or some materials where you can also check yourself where you can also check yourself yeah it's a problem so you know <laughs> what often happens uh, in reality uh, is that so you need to wait yeah for a teacher so so no one uh, can check your work just um, only a teacher it's a problem yeah so you need to have uh, some materials where you can check yourself yeah? so that you learn English by yourself by yourself so without paying money and do it effectively Teachers often want you to come to them to pay and it's a sad fact. Or as people want you yeah, to pay, it's a sad fact. Yeah? So people aren't interested in your progress, but they are interested in your pocket, in your money. It's a sad fact, really. Not so good. Uh, really? That's it. That's it. It means that's true. Almost no one is interested in it. Or few people, few people are interested in it. I mean, in giving you resources, I mean, materials, information, advice, or even saying, or even saying that you can learn English without a teacher. Yes, so just imagine if so an English teacher uh, tells you that, okay, you can learn with English without a teacher. So it can sound fantastic, unbelievable, but it's true, it's possible. So it is very, it isn't very convenient for a teacher to say so, it's a sad fact. So, I suppose, I mean, I think it's a vitally important point. So it's a very, very important point. It's a crucial point or it's a it's a, a point of great importance or it's a point of vital importance a very very important point so you need to have a very clear idea in your mind that it mostly depends on you yeah don't depend on the classroom okay good so are you against taking english classes no way no way it means of course not of course not okay I fully support them I mean I full, I fully support these classes so these lessons if only or on condition if only if we have this condition you're provided with all the necessary materials so with all the necessary with all the materials you need to learn on your own or to learn by yourself and effectively the thing is that or oh, the fact is that the problem is that you're often not given these materials yeah it's a problem so you don't see these materials you don't know how to learn English by yourself yeah or the materials aren't good enough yeah it's another problem so maybe you're given some materials 
But uh, what about the quality of uh, these materials? Yeah, it's often so bad. Yeah, it's so sad. Okay. Okay, to sum up. So, to sum up, so if we want to, to make a conclusion, I need to study all day for these 10 days and uh, I shouldn't, right? And I shouldn't be over dependent on my teacher. I mean, when I depend on him or her too much. Think in English, in English. Maybe not only in English, yeah, just trying to uh, translate something, yeah, in my head. Should be my regular practice, right? Is that all? Well, you need to do some more things. What is it? So, what, what is it, okay? So, you need to have lots of speaking practice during all these days. So, lots of or a lot of speaking practice the more the better or the more practice you have the better so it's a very important thing so i can take lots of english lessons every day for more than two hours am i right so yeah when you have english lessons every day and they last for more than two hours so am i right so is it a, a good idea so if you can afford it afford it it means if you have money to pay for it, it's an absolutely brilliant idea. It's an absolutely brilliant idea, it means it's a very, very good idea. So you can say it's a brilliant idea or it's an absolutely brilliant idea. To learn English with a teacher for more than two hours and every day. So personally, I have uh, this experience, I mean, when students ask me just, I mean, uh, actually uh, to talk, I mean, uh, to them in English and help them, and they just wanted, you know, uh, to study for more than two, three, or even four hours, yeah, this uh, practice uh, can take place, yeah. However, however, you don't necessarily need to do it, don't necessarily need to do it. It means actually there is no need to do it, so you don't need to pay, so you don't need to, uh, to take these English uh, classes. So you can find different speaking partners. So the problem is that you can't reach fluency in English, or you can't get this fluency fast, fast while talking just to one person. So you need to, I mean, I mean, to have different people to talk to, different speaking partners. You need to get used to different speaking partners, not not just to one person. Yeah, it's a very important thing, yeah. It sounds reasonable. So reasonable, it means that uh, really I think it's a good idea. Yeah, good idea. Okay, so thanks. Let me go on or let me continue. Okay. I also guess you can't think in English and speak English all day. So, I also think so, it's very difficult, okay? So, it can be really tiring, tiring, or, yeah, it can be really exhausting. You'll get tired or exhausted very quickly, as, as means because, it's a very intensive training. So, maybe you want to do it, you have this desire, but it's very difficult, yeah, for your head, yeah. Okay, so what are you suggesting? What are you suggesting? You also need to listen to English speech a lot, no matter what you do. So when you do other things, okay? Only these things, not only. It is often said that you can reach fluency in English without good grammar. Okay? Yeah, it's wrong. If you don't yeah, it's wrong if you don't live in an English-speaking country. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's very easy, I mean, uh, for native speakers to say so, yeah, just you don't, you don't need any grammar at all, yeah, since they've been living in this English-speaking country for a while, so for, for a very long time. But you know that uh, your story is different and you need to learn everything, you, you need to know grammar. Basic grammar first, but not only basic. It's a very important thing, okay? So, how can you explain it? I mean that if you're unsure about something, you'll have to make pauses, really. 
Maybe you want uh, to say something in English, but you aren't sure. Maybe it is right. Maybe it isn't. And oh, and you make pauses. Yeah, your speech won't seem natural and fast enough. Yeah, you'll be speaking slowly. What else can you say? You shouldn't be afraid of mistakes. Show me a person who doesn't make mistakes. Your main aim or your main task is to express your point of view. Express you need to say what you think and get your message across. So get your message across is a nice phrase, so you need to explain it to another person. So, so that they understand your message or your idea and get your message across. You also need to focus on most important words and phrases. Yeah, most important. You can't know everything. Please, don't learn unimportant words. Don't do it, yeah, which are never used. And don't learn unnecessary phrases. So, phrases maybe which are only in books. Yeah, you don't need them. You, you can waste uh, lots of time. So, all in all, or in conclusion, you need to do everything which has already been mentioned above, yeah? So we are talking about it, or been talking it, I think, yeah, very productively to reach more fluency in English. Okay, so I really hope that you follow these tips and uh, you enjoy our lessons on the channel English Professionally. And I want to wish you good luck, my friends. See you. Bye.